where all of Latin America and parts of the world collide. So you get to witness the hypest crowds and the hypest players. So that's the true combination here. Whoa. Um, well, I, I don't know, but... Uh... For me, at least, it's a great experience. And a great experience... Wow, I, I, I recognize Montalvo and... Uh, is he Suadero? I don't read my No, that's Law. Law. Oh, I'm so sorry. Law <laughs> so is sorry. the player who took down Ooh, Cosmos yeah. to Lucha's bracket. So probably we'll be watching a super hype again set. And we are going to Pokemon Stadium too. Um, I think it's like the more common pick for a lot of players. And well, I've, um, I've played against Montalo. He's a great poser, but as well, well, who, who better than <laughs> than us can say that uh, Loa is as well a really, really great player. And with the, the Luigi, um, he's like, of making a great a great work of spacing he and he's not like um, going for unsafe uh, hits over there yeah uh, you really have to play safe against Luigi because we we just know how devastating he can be right especially against such a heavy character like Bowser so it's not looking like a very easy matchup for Montalvo he already lost his first stock and law has not be, been going for the zero to dance and stuff but he could eventually because he's one grab away and now he has the rage too. So he's going for some extra crazy setups here, trying to go for some edge guards as well. And Bowser for Luigi is a very easy character to edge guard because of the plungers. Yeah, he's uh, kind of a piñata and of course that backer is going enough to take uh, Montalvo second stock and while he is really struggling to get uh, Loa first first stock and uh, Loa as well is going to is going to use that rage in order to to farm a little bit more percentage from Montalvo but well great great recovery and Montalvo is a little bit more um easy and not taking like again the aggressive options indeed montalvo is the kind of player that knows when to hold back but it's usually see him going in so it's been a bit harder for him to adapt in this particular matchup he does get the stock though but we already know that lost spacing is great unfortunately though when you have a single plunger you're going to get wrapped yourself this command grab from bowser is nothing to slouch at and we know that it gets you stage control that it gets you uh, some combos sometimes if the, D if the di is proper or rather wrong from your opponent and you and you read it correctly but montalvo look at this he's going for the crazy options already a forward smash in the middle of the stage <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's getting a little bit desperate, but well, now Lo just with a little back there over uh, over Montalvo took the, the final stock and he is, I don't know, feeling like comfortable. It don't, it don't seem like a really big difference between both players. I think Lo had it under, under, um, under control over there. It was like, okay, um, he don't, he didn't need that first game like a lot of players uh, do. That the first game, they don't care if they win or lose. They study the the opponent. So I don't think Lo in this case um, is like looking for that. He, he says, okay, um, I see the first duck. What you are going for? So I'm going. I'm going to be easy. <laughs> My old man used to say, anyone can win a game one. But then the problem is keeping that streak going. Because like you said, game one is adaptation. And when you go uh, to, into game two, you need to apply what you learn. And here, it's it's going to be even more polarizing because it's final destination. We have a final destination match here. And what Montalvo wants, of course, is for Law to have no escape. And Bowser usually shines here. I have seen a lot of Bowsers do amazing here in FD. But unfortunately for him, he can still get caught. And this is what Law shines at. And this might be a stuck. No, he misses the second bear, uh, up air. Well, uh, probably not the best pick for Montalvo of stage. Oh my god, Luigi. Uh, Law uh, going for that up B and, and well, taking uh, taking Montalvo first stock uh, in, a, in a really easy way, I can say so. Uh, well, look, it's not going to be super easy. For it's not going to be super easy for Law either to get all of those zero to death setups and the combos themselves. Of course, you really have to read your DI. Unfortunately for Montalvo, though, it's not enough to take this stock either. That down B, I thought it was going to do it, but great Law, for, great DI from Law. Not this time, though. The up tilt catches him. 
And yes, Montalvo has seen that when Law does not land those plungers and when he's coming back from the edge, Law usually jumps over him. So that's a very easy anti-air option to catch your opponent, the up tilt. And well, now he's receiving all that, uh, all that uh, flame through. And well, I think he's struggling a little bit to get uh, to the stage. Montalvo's having a great, great uh, stage control right now. And we can see in the percentage uh, over there, uh, 125 against 19 is something. But we know that Lo can go again for that option and kill, but never mind because Montalvo did with uh, that side B again. And now Lo is, uh, I don't know if he's going to look for, to make that, that combo. But well, Montalvo, we're watching him in a, in a a really different uh, mind situation. Yeah. Uh, the mind game is obviously such an important aspect here. You're playing against one of the most endurance, well, against a character that really tests your endurance, of course. Uh, Luigi is the kind of character that really tells you, hey, hey, you approached wrong, you're going 2% now, you might lose your suck as well, so you better play it extra careful, you better play it perfectly. And this, however, is a great situation for Montalvo. That's what he wanted, the edge grab with the back air. Unfortunately for him, Law air dodges in time, and so he is back on stage, alive and kicking. And so we might get us here to death here. No, great DI from Montalvo and no raid from Law on that side. And even though Law is still a stock behind, I think this percent might show us that he can still make the comeback. Well, uh, it's a really tough situation, right? I don't know. It, I think it's a, a little bit tense, but well, never mind because it's um, it's um, even at least in stock situation. Uh, but Law is really well needs really to be careful right now if he wants to to take this um, Montalvo, Montalvo last up but well he's doing a really great work of spacing and I think he's being a little bit more patient right now as just said like the adaptation that he's having or he had it's uh, awesome and uh, okay he took a uh, one one stock uh, well the last up and this game goes for Montalvo so I think he, he is going to be a little bit more bold, for, uh, more happy, more calm, and, and yeah, that mind game that you have already said. Yeah, a bit more adjusted to that, and when I talk about matchup experience, I, I think about who they have in the region, right? Montalvo is from Pachuca, and in Pachuca, you have a player called Santiago Nueve. Saluda Santiago Nueve, si nos está viendo. He plays Luigi. He is the one who provides the matchup experience for Montalvo. So he is now no stranger to this matchup in particular. I don't think he has played it to this level, but he is no stranger to it, really. Uh, but Law, he has a lot more Bowser to practice with. There's, of course, Pollo in Ciudad de Mexico, the Bowser by excellence in that region. There's also Pollito Pio in Monterrey. So he has definitely played this a lot more, but I think he's facing a very different kind of Bowser. This guy is willing to go for this match attack so often, and you never expect those. Yeah, and um, well, we're watching now a really great work of Edgar uh, for, from Lo. And well, of course, now he's trying to use the platforms that we don't see in the earlier game. Um, Montalvo now is struggling to get back to the stage. Uh, weird thing to see. It's funny. Wow, it's funny thing to see um, the change of stage and the change of the games. But well, with that backer, we saw how um, how low took that first stop from. Oh, Montalvo. how about the second no. one too? That's a zero to death, everybody, <laughs> with a down throw combo. The kind of thing that we expect from Law, and he finally gets it. He's successful with that down throw combo. And now we're going to go even deeper because Law is in no plan of losing any stocks in this match. Clearly, Small Battlefield is a great, great stage for Luigi here. And of course, he is not falling on the traps of Montalvo anymore. He's not even getting caught in those down Bs, right? Well, right as I say it, right <laughs> as I say it. No, no, he is. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> but, well, Montalvo, uh, I don't know, feeling a little bit more confident, but is is just one mistake what uh, can make uh, him lose stock and well Lo is uh, really okay struggling to get to the stage but it doesn't mind because uh, he knows that he has a really good Q 
kill option over there. Just he's trying to to have those stock, the last stock uh, from Montalvo. He he knows he he knows that he he don't have like a lot to lose. But uh, okay, he lost already one stock. Uh, but okay, he has two more. Yeah, he still has two more to go, and it, really taking one it was looking like such a hard task. To take these other two, it's looking even harder. Law has been playing a almost perfect game here. It's only when he overextends that Montalvo can actually get something, because really these two characters are super good at that. Punishing your overextensions, Bowser can do it with a downer. He can do it with the up B, for instance, if you hit his shield. Luigi, of course, can do it with a lot more things, namely the neutral error if you combo him into the air. But now Montalvo getting some really solid pushes onto Law, but the forward tilt finally will hit. Okay, Montalvo has a chance. He had a chance, yes, because uh, of the of the weight of the character, but um, I don't know the adaptation that he's having. Also, I don't know. Oh, wow, it's a right, uh, well, a good punish, a good punish from that up B that um, makes a low be a little bit more. I don't know. Um, Vulnerable over over that platform, but well now Montalvo is trying uh, trying to uh, use that rage that he has to finish a uh, low second step below. I don't know. He's like having a little bit more of, of uh, patience, but he knows he has to to deal with that stuff if he, he want to to continue in this game. Now the other problem is the Bowser is extra heavy and he's going to live forever. Law has already tried a couple of Cyclones to get that last hit and it's not working, but the Becker will definitely do it. Montalvo fought with all his heart and unfortunately he never got that last stock. Law is now up two to one and only one game away from making top 32 and which would be Technically, wasn't predicted for him to be here. He got the upset on Cosmos, and that's why he's making it here. But it's still pretty far getting into top 32 of a major. Yeah, um, it's not not like a uh, uh, easy easy thing to to do. And well, I I, I think um, I wanna I wanna say this because I think the second stock sometimes is like um, what determines the the flow of the game. Because if, like in this case, in this scenario, we saw that uh, Montalvo get the confidence to take a low second stock, and we see a third different stock, different, even though he has a lot of percentage, uh, he managed to to almost almost had the 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 set, but well, the the game, but um. Yeah, At with, the end, it with, wasn't. with these two, it's like every stock is a different story, really. Yeah. Because we know that Law might be super dominant at once, at one point, then Montalvo might, might make the comeback. It might be a bit of a tear as well, like it was in Final Destination. And speaking of Final Destination, that's the reason why Montalvo came here, because he wanted to have that flat stage once again, at least for a few minutes. But we also need to see. Oh no! If he's going to survive these combos, he did though. Yeah. Oh! No. <laughs> Never well, mind. That that was almost almost survived. But well, he he took that spike and let's see how did uh, did he recover this from this? If he uh, like get in the aggressive way in a really great aggressive way that we have wow. already seen and it was just uh I I don't I don't really see if that was a jab uh, over there what he did to to block the the attempt from low to get to the stage well it seems to me that law like by recovering like this uh he he has been getting some he has been facing some pretty big issues montalvo is not a wall per se but he is finding a way to just clear the way for himself to be always dominant on stage. I don't see a law. Whenever he goes down really low, I don't really see him making it back that often. Not like that though. Whenever he needs to use the, the side B, of course, the green missile. And you look at this hedge card. I mean, Montalvo has been extending it quite a bit. No stock, but he got over 100% onto law. And I think that's a victory in and of himself because he now forces law to approach extra carefully. Yeah, 
And as you said, the, the stage, it make a huge difference, Ooh. but never mind that Jadlock too, the up was enough to take Montalvo's second stock, and of course now, um, Law over there is really, really feeling like a little bit more confident, and well, even though this stage, as, as, as you said, was better for Montalvo, uh, Law now took the advantage right now, and he's just trying to punish correctly the, the ground approaches that Montalvo may have and now he's going for that uh, doubt that combo. Yes, and when you have the flatter surface, Montalvo is doing a lot better, <laughs> as is the case. Now that we have the Kalos Pokemon League uh, distribution of platforms, he gets the flat surface. He gets a chance to catch Law twice now. So we're back to even. All of a sudden, the game five is a real possibility, and Montalvo is slowly working his way to it, but Law can still make it back, although he is camping it out. He knows that he needs to take his time because of Nod. Well, Bowser is simply a knockout machine, but Montalbo gets taken down. He's out. Not quite yet. But almost, but almost. Uh, it's it's in this... Um... Wow! Oh no, that's this a forward is... smash! <laughs> he missed the up switch, but he hits a forward smash for it. We have a game five. We're going to game five. When, when Montalbo saw this, uh, I don't know what he... We, we can see, we can see in the camera he, his reaction, he's like, no way, I can punish that correctly, and he goes for that, and, well, he charged, we can see, that that's like the images we can hear. <laughs> yes, we, that's an image we can definitely hear, look at the player cams, people, the player cams tell a different story as well, or it's rather a contribution to the same story, but it's another angle of it. You get to see the true reactions in real time of how players <laughs> actually <laughs> feel when this kind of things happen. And yeah. we're going to PS2, like the first game, and it, it's it's a game five that I really don't know what's <laughs> gonna happen. We are getting a character switch, Law is switching to Krom. No way. He, well, now he can use more the disjoints to to edge guard or to I don't know poke uh, Montalvo. I don't I don't think uh, I was going to see Lost Crum because I've heard um, really really nice things about his drum. And of course we are watching right now over there the, the stuff, the magic that he can do. I mean, Crum is a it's a very all or nothing character. I think Luigi is too. He is a very all-or-nothing character all around, so Law is an all-or-nothing <laughs> specialist. And so far, it seems like it's going to be all for him, because Montalvo, unfortunately, ate his jump earlier. And so we are already down a stock, only 30-something seconds in. And Law already getting a super big advantage seed going. Law is now playing a very solid neutral, trying to get those hits in, and he gets the jab. Nothing comes through it, though. Yeah, now he's playing really more patient than with than with Luigi. But well, now Montalvo is using that that, that punch. Just almost we saw a shield break over there, but we can't see that. Now he is going for, well to receive the pressure from uh, from Lo, and well now he's struggling to to approach without receiving any punish at all. And you know Montalvo at this point, I think he recognizes that he needs to go for the really big strategies now. There's no holds bar. You need to play it as smartly as possible. But unfortunately, he is just combo food for the sortie. He gets a jab into forward smash conversion, and that's the second stock from the Bowser main. Law is on the verge of top 32 with Crom. Well, Low is uh, going for the aggressive options right there, and we saw him with. Well, we are watching him just with 60%, and Montalvo in in the last talk, he is really really struggling. The change of uh, of character from from Low was like really something, and he is getting he is getting the. I don't I don't see uh, with which character did he upset uh, Cosmos, but Luigi. Luigi, wow, <laughs> he he. Well, at least Montalvo make a uh, low change character, but he is really struggling with this 4D. Yes, and he is not getting the knockout quite yet. That's unfortunate for him. So many Bowser bombs, and none of them are getting the stock taken. So, Law, not even with this dash attack either. Man, Law living to such high percents finally gets caught up with the fair. But unfortunately, though, that's only the first stock. Montalvo needed to be a lot more consistent with those stocks taking. And he is now in a net score situation. I don't think he's going to escape this easily. He keeps getting juggled too. 
but um, I don't know. Maybe if uh, Low goes for like the rusher options, he can receive a, a great punish as we have seen earlier. But no, Montalvo is taking now a little bit more of, of advantage of the, at least of the stage control. But the key is going to be punished. Not not right now. I thought he was going to be punished better uh, from from low but well it, it was uh, it was an easy one for, for him uh, wow he wow I thought with the DI he was going to make it but no it wasn't um, so so um, easy <laughs> at last yeah I mean that last game was looking really really easy for mr. law Getting that this joined around means that it's going to be super complicated for Bowser to get around. And this was the case here. So Montalbo falls in 33rd place, but that's a very good placing yeah. in a major of this caliber. Really 33, 33rd out of oh, 70 plus, 700 plus players. I think that's an amazing placement for Montalbo. He should definitely be proud. And yeah. proud he will be going back to Pachuca over there. So... That was the last set we had for this stream, actually. Two sets here in this block. It was really quick. But yeah. that's going to be it for this day of Smash Factor 9 over at Fiji Bootcamp 2. So it's time for us to say goodbye, Sami. Where can they find you to follow you? Um, Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> and how Facebook. can they follow you? Um, G...